If you want to be the state champion, that's the guy you're going to have to beat. I'm telling you right now. That's what you should all think. He is not going to be the state champion because I'm going to be the state champion. But the thing is, to get there, you have to work. You have to make your work have purpose. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the one characteristic that makes a great coach and a great thrower, and that is simply understanding the following: you have to develop your knowledge base. Of every coach I've ever met, and I like to include myself in this category, is that when you're constantly learning, I, I would definitely say I'm a better coach this year than I was last year than the year before. I just came across some video. We were looking at some things, and I looked at some stuff from like seven years ago and it was funny and I just critiquing myself there was things that I was pointing out that I would probably still point out today and then there was some detail things that I would absolutely point out today that I didn't address in their entirety then they were so glaringly obvious to me now and I kind of look back and these were this is looking back at some very successful athletes I had and they did some very good things won state titles and different things in California and it was just funny to look at and I think that's just an important thing that people need to understand is that if you're a thrower, you need to understand throwing, you need to learn. That's why we created the throwing chain reaction system. It was intended to, how are you gonna get people to learn quickly? Knowledge is the key. Throwers, you have to learn. You have to understand what's going on. This is basically like we have our two second video. From the time you get the implement back to the time it comes out of your hand, you're under two seconds. At the elite level, the world-class level, we're about a second and a half. Beginning throwers, about two seconds. How are you gonna train all these things. We broke the throw into six pillars. There's six distinct objectives in the throw. There's positions that are related to that. Understanding that quickly enables you to to spend your time developing the motor patterns you need to learn. And so the faster you learn, the more dedicated you are to constant learning, the better coach, the better thrower you will become. So that was kind of our point. Again, there's a couple of these things we talk about, some of the stuff that people sometimes uh, go, yeah, yeah, just show me how to do this or show me how to do that. When the key is, if you're not focusing on the right mindset to get yourself to study the right things so that every minute that you spend trying to get better is efficient and and yielding the results you want, that's gonna be requiring you to always acquire knowledge. So thanks for watching. Be sure to click the link below for info on the Throwing Chain Reaction System, and we will see you on the next video.